Welcome to the Signal booth here at the Innovation City Mobile World Congress in Shanghai. Um, the first part of our journey in this booth is about devices. You can see a lot of devices talking to each other in this particular screen. Um, the whole idea is how do we abstract the complexity of different heterogeneous devices, whether it's narrowband, CATM1, 3G, 4G, so many protocols, all of, all of them talking to each other. Um, our role at Singtel is to normalize, harmonize, and clean in an in a abs abstracted framework and in a view that is, resonates with people, like chatting to each other. So you can see all those devices producing data, and of course, we at Singtel, we're providing that curated environment that we can normalize that information and express it so we can have devices evolving devices. For the second part of our booth, um, we're really focusing on outcomes. We're moving away a little bit from devices and what we saw around devices, and now we're moving to outcomes. Number one outcome is about access control, intelligent access control, working with our collaborator, Dorma Kaba. Uh, we are pr providing an intelligence through connectivity directly to the turnstile in order to apply different policies. For example, if somebody is coming in uh, with glasses and we don't want to allow um, allow the person to come in, we can automatically push that policy on the turnstile and block the entry. Or if we want to register somebody on the fly, we can also do that using um, uh, intelligent connectivity and DevOps in order to do that type of behavior. The second part is around smart buildings. Every company in the world is, is in a building and our mission in Singtel is to make it smarter and smarter. By collaborating with device manufacturers, intelligence, artificial, in, uh, artificial intelligence, as well as int intelligent connectivity to bring one curated view of the particular building, whether it means cost, efficiency, or comfort. As you can see here, we have the different elements of, um, of a smart building, the comfort index, the efficiency index, the utility index, and of course, different behaviors that are happening in order to inform a decision. For example, how many people are in the space? You can see here the people counter, and you can see the weather, you can see different facets of data streams that it can influence a decision when it comes to efficiency, comfort, and of course, security.